Are you getting ready for your cruise and doing some cruise packing? In this video, I'm going to be going over the 12 things that you absolutely do not want to forget if you're going on a cruise. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the Webs and a Blog Life Well Cruise, where we help thousands of cruisers a month get ready for their cruise with our travel tips. Now in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is the things that cruisers tend to forget to bring on their cruise, and you don't want to do that at all. So before I get started, I just wanted to mention that if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you do like cruise content like this and cruise vlogs, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Now let's get started with those tips. It might seem hard to believe because let's face it, a lot of times as cruisers, we tend to get our packing list together and really try to kind of get as organized as possible for our cruise that we actually forget certain things, but it does happen. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is going over the things that are commonly forgotten and maybe a little less commonly forgotten, just so that you make sure that you kind of like cross all of your T's and dot all of your I's and make sure that you remember everything for your cruise. So the first thing, and it might seem like it's really obvious, but just make sure that you do have it, is your passport and your government ID. I'm not even going to talk about it much because obviously we know we have to have that, but that is the most important thing because everything else can be solved, but that you just can't board without it. So that is the most important thing to bring on a cruise and you don't want to forget it. Number two, your cruise documents and also your luggage tags. Now I've seen recently where some people have been surprised to know that they do have to actually print out their luggage tags, but it is part of the process when you're um, completing your online check-in. Even if you are on a princess cruise where you have your ocean medallion, you do want to print out that boarding pass and you want to print out those luggage tags. So make sure you have those with you as well when you're heading to your cruise. Number three, now we actually made this mistake a few years ago and it's sunscreen. If you are going on a Caribbean cruise, if you're going on a cruise in Mexico, in Bermuda, uh, the sun is just really, really hot on, um, on the water and you wanna bring your sunscreen. Even if you already have a base, even if it's summer, bring your sunscreen. Believe me, you might regret it if you do not. Also, you can consider bringing some aloe vera because if you do, get a little bit of a sunburn, you are going to be happy that you have some relief. Number four. Now this one might not seem super obvious, but it's lip balm. Make sure that you do have lip balm with you um, because the sun again is very, very hot and cruisers have reported not bringing any lip balm, getting too much sun, and then finding that their lips were burnt, that they were completely swollen. Some people said they felt like that they had uh, bad lip injections. Other people said they got a cold on a cruise and they were taking medication for their cold and they ended up um, just with their breathing, having really dry lips and they needed their lip balm. And if you do get it on the ship, you can find it, but it's about $5. So you want to be able to bring that from home in advance. So pack lip balm for your cruise. Number five, closed toe shoes. Now that might seem really surprising as well, but for a lot of the activities on many of the cruise ships, you actually need closed toe shoes, sometimes socks to be able to participate. So sometimes people say, well, I'm going on a Caribbean cruise and it's super casual. Maybe it's a Norwegian cruise ship. And they're saying, hey, you know what? Um, I can just wear my sandals or my flip flops. I am taking it easy the whole week. The only thing is that you won't be able to go on the ropes course and some of the other great activities if you don't have closed toe shoes. So especially if you have children on any cruise, make sure that they have closed toe shoes and socks to participate in all of the activities. Number six, don't forget your formal attire. Now, not every cruise ship has um, a formal night or even a chic night. And you might even decide not to participate in it, which is totally fine. But people have reported that they did want to participate. And what they did is they forgot maybe their suit jacket at home or they forgot their shoes to go with their formal dress. So make sure that your formal outfits, if you plan on participating, that they're put together and that they do get packed into your suitcase or that you have a separate garment bag and it does come with you for that cruise. Number seven, pants. I know we're talking about clothes again, but this can be surprising. But um, of course, a lot of people do bring pants on their cruise, but sometimes people want to keep it casual. So they're thinking shorts are fine 
and that is overall fine but many cruise ships don't allow any shorts in the main dining room so of course you can always find your place to eat you can find some casual venues you can eat in the buffet but you don't want to be limited to that why not eat in the main dining room and in some cases the dress code even though not strict they allow jeans but they do not allow shorts so do make sure that you do bring at least one pair of pants or jeans even if you don't participate in the formal nights Number eight. Now, number eight is actually really important, and that is your over-the-counter medication. So whether it's the medication like um, for pain relief, uh, like Tylenol or Advil or that kind of thing, or even something for a cough or a cold, you do want to make sure that you have that with you before your cruise. If you do end up getting a cold on a cruise, it's really not very pleasant, and there aren't a lot of varieties of medication available um, in the convenience store. So you want to make sure that you do bring that from home. Um, as well, something to think about is if you have children definitely bring over-the-counter medication for them. A lot of times in the convenience store on the cruise ship, there just won't be anything available. Um, and what they do have might be very expensive, but if they don't have anything, what happens then is you might have to take a little trip to the infirmary or the medical center where you will be seen, so that's great. But keep in mind, there will be a charge for that medical visit as well as um, people have reported that the medication is several times more expensive than what you could just bring from home. So think about that and bring your over the medication. That is something really important. I am going to link the video about first aid items just um, above uh, so you can have an idea of that if you do want to find out more about what medications you want to bring. And as well down below in the comments, I will link a blog post that lists all the different first aid items that you'll want to have on your cruise. Number nine, so important for cruisers, is seasickness medication or seasickness prevention. So no matter, even if you have cruised before, please bring seasickness medication with you. Cruisers have regretted not bringing this, and that includes us on our last cruise. So we have taken several cruises and we are not usually seasick. So we bring a little bit of ginger, and usually that is pretty much enough. Sometimes we bring a sea band, but Lately, we haven't really been bringing anything. And of course, my husband did get really quite seasick, was not feeling well. And thank goodness we had a super nice table uh, neighbor who did uh, give my husband some boning, which was so super helpful. So this is a tip directly from me. Make sure that you bring your seasickness medication, even if you have done many, many cruises, even if you don't think you'll be seasick, better safe than sorry, and bring your seasickness medication. Number 10, something to bring on a cruise are band-aids for blisters. Now, many cruisers have said that this is something really important. They thought about bringing band-aids, but not necessarily band-aids for blisters. And you know what? Sometimes we're just walking a lot more than we thought we were going to be walking, whether it's in ports or even on the ship. So definitely bring a collection of band-aids and don't forget those band-aids for blisters. Number 11, ladies, this is for you. We tend to sometimes forget our makeup. It's happened to more than one lady. And so just make sure that you do bring your cosmetics, have them with you. Now, one thing is on the cruise ship, um, makeup is available. So at the duty-free shop, so you can get some really good quality makeup on the cruise ship, but it is going to be quite expensive. So try to remember to make sure that that's packed in your toiletry bag and get that makeup with you onto the cruise. Number 12. So last but not least is to bring along some downy wrinkle release, some little laundry um, packages um, and or some Tide to go, which I particularly really like. So definitely bring these things. And the reason is that on many cruise ships, there is no uh, laundromat and no little place to iron your clothing. Uh, they are not allowed in the cabins. You can't bring irons. You can't bring steamers on a cruise ship. So that really kind of leaves you otherwise with maybe a little bit of wrinkly clothes or sending your clothing to the laundry service on the ship, which tends to be expensive. So bring a little um, travel size uh, downy wrinkle release to just keep your clothes wrinkle free on your cruise. And I think that is just something that's super handy to have. And as well, don't forget to bring a little something if you do want to do laundry, especially if you are on a much longer cruise, then you will appreciate that 
as well. So I hope that these tips have been helpful as you're planning your cruise because you don't want to forget anything. Now, are there some things that maybe you've forgotten that you want to add to this list that we can warn other people? I know that's super appreciated. So please leave that for me in the comments below. I would love to see that. And let me know, has it happened to you? Have you forgotten to bring some things that you should have brought? on a cruise. Now, if you did like this video, I really do appreciate it. If you can give it a thumbs up, it really does help me and I appreciate that. And as well, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now I am on Instagram and I am on Facebook and I would love to connect with you there. Happy cruising.